Hey everybody, what's going on? Thanks for swinging by. I sure do appreciate it. If this is your first time, my name is Mark. Oh, hi Mark. Welcome to Fit and Fire. Let's get into this video. This time we're going to be launching a new AK project, something I'm really excited for because this is going to be a rifle that I've wanted for a very, very long time. What are we talking about? We are talking about a barreled receiver kit from Atlantic Firearms right here. This is something that I have been wanting to do for a very, very long time. And the fact that it's an underfolder on top of all of that just makes it so much better in my opinion because the underfolder is my absolute favorite AK ever produced. I don't know why, I can't explain to you why it's my favorite, but just the aesthetics of it is really, really cool. Okay, so let's talk about what is going on with this and uh, what you should expect if you guys ever find yourself interested in picking up a barreled receiver kit. I uh, purchased this from Atlantic Firearms and uh, I just picked it up from my FFL, wanted to do a video for you guys. What this is, is a Model 63 kit that was imported into the United States, uh, obviously demilled, and then they pulled it together into a civilian version of the AK-47. Now, this is going to be a barreled receiver because there is no fire control group in here and it is not going to come with a pistol grip. So this is not a functional firearm as it stands right now. So just taper expectations. If you see one of these and you want to jump on one to pick it up, um, yeah, you should just know that it, that's not going to come with that stuff. It's not going to have any hand guards either. And the reason for that is because they want to give you the opportunity to pull it together however you want it to do. In addition to that, you want to make sure that you are following 922R compliance and making sure that you are adding enough US components that uh, the alphabet boys don't come and try to unlive your dog. <laughs> um, so it's not supposed to come with a slant break, but they did add an American made slant break on here, which is really nice. Comes with the cleaning rod. Uh, it does have a bolt carrier group and the recoil spring as well. Now, the interesting thing is that this is what they deem kind of a battlefield pickup. So this is going to not have matching serial numbers, at least mine didn't. Bolt carrier group and the bolt did not have the same serial number as the front trunnion, but the dust cover is the same uh, serial number as the front trunnion as well. So that uh, that's pretty cool. And it kind of gives me that post-apocalyptic Fallout 4 cyberpunk feel, which is what I think I'm going to follow when it comes to pulling this together. But I want to hear from you guys. What do you guys think? Sound off in the comment section down below. What should I be doing to pull this together in future videos? I would love to hear what you have to say. Now, there is a beautiful patina on some of these uh, older parts, which is really, really nice. And I really liked how the Morrissey receiver tried to follow that patina as well, uh, which is really cool. So just uh, be mindful that uh, <laughs> these parts are probably going to have a little bit of surface rust on them, maybe a tiny bit of pitting, but the patina on it is just, just gorgeous. So that's something I really, really did like. So I've already mentioned that it does come with a Morsi receiver and it has a brand new 4150 nitrated barrel. It is not chrome lined, it's not hammer forged. And to be frankly honest with you, that's not that big of a deal to me because this is more than likely going to be a bit of a beater gun, right? So uh, I'm going to use this to, to just do whatever I want. You know, I'll, I'll set it up how I think I should have it. And then maybe in a couple months I might change my mind, who knows? But uh, I, either way, I'm really excited to uh, put something together for you guys. And I really want to hear what you think I should do with this as well. Sound off in the comment section down below because you guys are along the ride with me and I just love to hear your guys' feedback and sometimes I take your advice and, and try to do some of the things that you want me to do as well. So there you have it, the barreled receiver from Atlantic Firearms. Again, super excited for this. I cannot wait to get this pulled together for you guys and get it out to the range. Uh, this underfolder, man, I just love the look of this. So with that being said, we're going to go ahead and get out of here. Thanks so much for swinging by. I really do appreciate everybody's support of the channel. 
a lot of changes going on and uh, just having you along for the ride is super, super cool. With that being said, we're gonna go ahead and get out of here. Let me know what you think down in the comment section down below. As always, freedom through strength. Here comes a high five. Catch you guys later. Bye, y'all.